Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. The cabinet highlighted the importance of providing suitable housing and efficient services for Bahraini citizens. The objective is in line with the comprehensive development goals set by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directors of His Royal Highness to develop innovative housing solutions in collaboration with the private sector. The cabinet announced the launch of a new housing financial scheme, Tasheel Affordable Housing Solutions. The new scheme will feature three financing options, including Tasheel Aqari, Tasheel Al Bayt Al Oud, and Tasheel Ta'awun, as well as the launch of the new category of the Mazaya Social Housing Scheme, along with the current version of Mazaya. The new housing finance scheme will raise the minimum and maximum credit limits, as well as the housing finance ceilings, which citizens may receive direct support from the government. Following a memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee, the Cabinet directed the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning to outline the process for citizens to access the new housing finance scheme. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister then reviewed the implementation of his directive to assess flood-related damages, compensate those affected by the rainfall in Lousy, and follow up on the steps taken to develop sustainable infrastructure solutions in the area. His Royal Highness commended the swift efforts of the relevant ministries and authorities in this regard, which were included in the memorandum submitted by the Minister of Forks. His Royal Highness then directed the relevant ministries and authorities to follow up on the needs of the Kingdom's governorate during Ashura season. His Royal Highness took note of the meeting between the Minister of Interior, the General Authority of the Husseini processions, and heads of Husseiniyas in the Kingdom. The cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee regarding the implementation of a fixed billing system for electricity and water starting from August. Under the memorandum, beneficiaries will be able to optionally obtain a fixed bill throughout the year based on the average electricity and water consumption over the past 12 months. A memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee on the plan to further develop the Bahrain Polytechnic and transfer the affiliation of the Bahrain Training Institute to Polytechnic. The memorandum aims to promote engagement and vocational education in line with the needs of the Kingdom's labor market. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft decision to restructure the National Committee to control smoking and all types of tobacco and tobacco products. And a memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to three draft proposals and two draft laws submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet reviewed the following topic. The Cabinet took note of the several ministerial reports regarding the foreign participation of ministers and visits of foreign delegations to Bahrain during August, the visit of the Minister of Industry and Commerce to the UK, and the meeting of the Industrial Partnership for Sustainable Economic Development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued a circular on the occasion of Ashura holiday. According to the circular, the Kingdom's ministries and public institutions will be closed on Monday and Tuesday, the 8th and 9th of August. The Agriculture and Marine Resources at the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture announced lifting the ban on shrimp fishing as of the 1st of August in line with the decision to ban shrimp fishing, trading or selling during the period from February 1st to July 31st. More in this report. As one of the main sources of food, the Kingdom of Bahrain has been keen to maintain the sustainability of shrimp by reviewing its fishing methods. The importance of this decision is to specify periods for prohibiting shrimp fishing in the breeding season to ensure its sustainability and continuity and to ensure its availability in the local market. The decision is based on Resolution 205 of 2018 regarding the prohibition of sea fishing by bottom trawl nets in the territorial waters of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The concerned authorities were keen on preserving marine wealth in addition to preventing or prohibiting the use of any specific tools or methods that are harmful to fisheries or marine life. 
The Marine Supervision Directorate called on all fishermen to abide by the ministerial resolution concerned with fishing by trawl, which aims to preserve marine wealth and ensures its sustainability in a bid to achieve food security in Bahrain. The CEO of the National Health Regulatory Authority and President of the Health Regulatory Authority Conference, Dr. Maryam al jadahma stressed the importance of this conference in supporting the authority's effort to ensure the provision of safe and high-quality health services in Bahrain. She said that the National Authority for Regulating Health and Medical Professions and Services has taken all the necessary preparations to ensure the success of this qualitative conference. She pointed out that this conference represents an open discussion platform with various partners in the health sector and a review of the authority's efforts to support the health system. Dr. al Jalahma indicated that the conference is an important gateway through which the authority confirms its keenness to continue performing its oversight duties to regulate the health sector in the kingdom within the framework of the government's program to ensure relevance, continuity, efficiency and safety in providing health services in both the public and private sectors. In the annual Bahrain Summer Festival, the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities was keen to present a variety of programs and various events to enrich the cultural experience of Bahraini children. More on this report. Various cultural and recreational activities were held at the Bahrain Summer Festival as it comes to an end after long days of continuous work during which the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities presented a number of distinguished programs that made children happy and gave them a summer atmosphere mixed with fun and culture. The various shows and international events presented by the Bahrain Summer Festival in cooperation with a number of embassies in Bahrain created a special atmosphere for Bahraini children and gave them the opportunity to learn about the cultural contents of them. Creative workshops in various fields offered by the festival throughout the month and various local and foreign parties have participated, which added a special flavor to the atmosphere of the festival in its 14th edition. In another achievement made by Bahraini youth, two engineers from the National Space Science Agency attained the accreditation of the Advisory Council for Space Generation, which is considered a great milestone in the representation of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the space field globally. And to speak more about this, we have with us on the phone NSSA space engineer Mnira Malki, who is one of the new members of the council. Hello Ms. Mnira, congratulations first of all on the post, and can you tell us more about your role as a representative of the Advisory Council for Space Generation? Um, thank you very much, my dear. And on behalf of the National Space Science Agency, I would like to extend our appreciation for hosting us today at uh, Bahrain International. Um, well, basically, to answer your question is um, our role as a uh, national point of contact is to represent the Space Generation Advisory Council and act as the contact point for the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, typically, um, each country can have up to two national points of contact uh, who work together to coordinate uh, the Space Generation Advisory Council activities, forming uh, a local team that manages the council activities at a national level, um, basically to help uh, raise awareness about the council and its goals, and to also conduct several activities ranging from events, uh, national newsletters, national scholarships, policy decisions and contribution, also national uh, space uh, policy activities. But uh, the main goal is to connect the next uh, generation of space leaders with the international space community, all in aim to um, bridge the gap between regions and generations by increasing the number of uh, regional and local events and expanding the number of opportunities to provide um, development and uh, networking between space and Uh Ms. Mnira, how does this post further boost the Kingdom of Bahrain's advancement in the space science field? Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, having the National Space Science Agency engineers to be uh, the national point of contact at the uh, Council provides a diverse leadership opportunities in the space sector. And uh, that is because the Council is the voice of the largest network of youth and young professionals in the space industry. So the post uh, will further boost the kingdom advancement in the space science field because the post is aligned to the kingdom of Bahrain objectives in the field of uh, space, uh, where it aims to establish a space sector that helps make the best use of space, its science and its technology as well. 
uh, and uh, to directly support the uh, sustainable development. Uh, one of the objectives of the Kingdom of Bahrain for its peace program is building strategic uh, partnerships. So for that reason, the National Space Science Agency seeks to build close relationships with all uh, stakeholders at the national, regional, and also international levels to create um, stable and sustainable partnerships that support its efforts in space sector and contribute to achieve the optimal benefits from space science and its multiple applications. Once again, congratulations, NSSA Space Engineer Munir Al-Malki. Thank you for joining us. The Kingdom of Bahrain participates in the celebration of World Lung Cancer Awareness Day on the 1st of August of each year. This day aims to raise awareness on lung cancer, reduce its mortality, and support research that seeks to find a cure. The Ministry of Health is keen to organize awareness campaign targeting all segments of society to raise awareness and educate them about this disease. The Meteorological Directorate at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication stated that the weather in Bahrain today is expected to be humid and partly cloudy. The Directorate also confirmed that there is a chance to thunderstorms accompanied by high-speed flashes, especially in the southern marine areas during the day. The Directorate's monitoring devices show that thunderstorms and rain cover most of the southern regions where Durat al-Bahrain station recorded a rise of 28 mm, which can be increased with a decrease in temperatures to 27 degrees Celsius.